sweeping the chimney of the Franco Bells Lorraine after the upgrades and this is the first time that this chimney has been swept throughout the winter this is the end of the winter in the first few days of spring first of all we'll block off the uh, the vent at the back of the fire with a piece of wood um, that stops the soot from escaping into the living room and secondly we remove the the plate at the back that enables the soot to fall through to the front of the fire and we seal up the the doors with a polythene bag close off the vent again this is another idea for soot to escape into the room and we don't want that if you're lucky um, you'll have an inspection cover for cleaning the chimney this is the inner seal door this is the build that we used to get lots of this is a completely different uh, different build up to before if we look in here very very fine powdery ash It doesn't actually resemble what we've seen in the past before the upgrade. So what I suspect happened here is that this is uh, Chris out this broken down inside the chimney along with the wood ash that's gone up the chimney. Now to sweep the chimney I've cut a piece of plastic, what it was was a, a side out of a, a, a five gallon plastic tub and we put a hole in the middle for the rods to go through and this prevents a lot of the soot from escaping while we're sweeping the chimney. Fine particular matter. And the chimney's nice and clean. No heavy creosote build up. Let's go and have a look inside, see how much soot we've got after one year's burning. On the Franco Belge, as the soot comes down the chimney, it gets stuck behind this um, the water pipe that joins the two sides of the fire together. So wearing a, a long pair of chemical rubber gloves, I keep my hands clean and saves you scoffing your hands. Just put your hand up the pipe. let the dust settle a little bit
after a full uh, winter season we have swept this chimney this is the first time I've swept this chimney at the start of spring in the UK I normally would have swept the chimney three maybe four times so the modifications that we've put put on the fire have uh, well I've reduced the, uh, the logs that I burn which is incredible I'm absolutely delighted the fire is much warmer than it used to be the radiators are warmer the home is warmer and yet we're burning less wood and this latest modification which we've which we've added with the um, the drilled stainless steel tube thanks to a friend on on uh, YouTube who suggested this um, again has, has, <laughs> has made another incredible difference to the performance of the fire so these old log burners, you know, don't throw them away. See if you can apply these methods. Right, the, uh, the log burner is now cleaned out. And this is the total amount of soot from the whole of the, the winter season. As we, we didn't sweep the chimney, uh, normally we would sweep the chimney three, maybe even four times. And uh, we would get a build up of coke or creosote coke in the chimney and we could often hear these falling down the chimney and um, bearing in mind that we burnt mostly Leylandi which is heavy in creosote um, the results are absolutely fantastic so the house is warmer much warmer the radiators are getting hotter than they ever did um, tank full of pipe in hot water there's no creosote building up inside the firebox which used to be a problem and now we seem to be burning all of the exhaust gases um, even given we had a mild winter this year the amount of wood that we've used um, we would have uh, normally four full columns of, of timber uh, running across the drive and this time we had two and a half columns of timber and we still have timber to burn at the moment so at least a 50% reduction in in wood um, <laughs> I'm just mystified like I said beyond all expectations hope you can make use of it and adopt some of these methods to an old um, well-built and built to last log burner and bring it up to modern standards by introducing um, secondary combustion and improving primary combustion reducing exhaust gases uh, gasification of wood now we can definitely see that happening inside the log burner from one of the comments on the YouTube video it was suggested to extend the pipe the stainless steel pipe across the center of the fire and uh, for this we've used a socket, stainless steel socket, three quarter, um, a 15 uh, centimetre length of threaded tube and an end cap. And then we've painstakingly drilled holes right through. Um, this is uh, supposed to allow the air and the, um, the gases from the smoke to be recombusted inside the pipe. Uh, it was working fine before but this improvement is said to be uh, much better so here goes. As we can see the, the valve that we've placed on the side of the fire pre a hole drilled in the side. Um, we've extended with the, the elbow and the, um, the nipple so that we've just extended that pipe a little bit so that was surplus and inside the inside the fire we'll be threading up our pipe onto this existing tube and it'll come across to about here
inside the firebox we can see the pipe in place. Now this is fully tightened so we fully tightened the pipe first and then scratched the line so that we could see that the holes were going to be facing up once the pipe was in, in position and tightened. It's secured with a little bit of wire and the end cap and we'll see how this gets on. Oh, get off. No.